So, as you might have seen already, uh, Kandinsky felt that colour could convey emotion even without sharing any particular object or figure. He's about playing with colour, seeing what happens when you put one colour next to the next one, next to another one, and really exploring what the relationships between them are. It's essentially just um, abstract work, having a play and seeing what happens when you when you use your colours, whatever you've got at home. Okay, so today we're going to have a go at doing that. I've got myself a piece of white paper here. You might have some black card, some thinner paper. Use whatever you have. So the first job with your white paper is to fold this in half. Okay, fold it along those lines, like that. And then you're going to fold it this way as well. So you reach the sides like that. Okay, and then the next thing, the last thing to do is fold it one more time in like this. Okay. So now when we open it, you should have eight spaces on your paper. Right. So I'm going to use different materials to do this and show you how that can look. In the first example, I've used some oil pastels. And here I have started with a, a, a colour in the middle. So one of the things that Kandinsky said was everything starts with a dot. So this is the perfect exercise to try that. So start with your dot in the middle and then work your colour around that. And just be playful. See which one you want to try. Which one, which one jumps out at you. Which one do you want to give a go next. And go round in your circle like that until you've coloured it all the way in in that one colour then find another one and colour that in with that colour until you've made several circles. Now in the original picture which I've put up before this um, you'll see if you, have, if you pause it he actually had different numbers of circles around each one some had five, some had six, some had seven so it doesn't matter how many you do I tend to do one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine on mine. You might just do four, you might do three, you might do ten. It's up to you. Here's another example where I have um, just done one big square and I've coloured different shapes around that which can be really exciting as well to try out. If you have felt tips at home you could use those also. Again you just start with your circle in the middle I'm just picking these as they come to me. I'm not worrying about what they are. Just thinking, yeah, that looks good. Let's give that a go. example I'm using paint. I've got a brush and some water and I'm using a paint palette as well. In here I've done the same. I started with a dot and I've gone round it like that and each one as I go 
So I'll just turn this around now and have a go at finishing these ones. 